Hello and welcome to the first of a series of Getting Started with Starfish ETL videos. Today we're going to look at Starfish when logging in for the first time. Each time you log into Starfish, you will be brought to the dashboard. On the dashboard, you can see a list of integration or migration projects that have been created, running jobs, scheduled jobs, and a history of all jobs run in this instance of Starfish. In the navigation bar, we can get back to the dashboard at any time by clicking on the dashboard menu item. We can view a list of projects by clicking on the projects menu item, or create new projects, view scheduled jobs, view running jobs, as well as cancel them from that menu item. View a history of jobs that have run. View revisions. Starfish will track all changes in your Starfish environment. Import a migration or integration from our templates, or set up a data warehouse wizard, which can help you to export data from your system into a database. We can view a list of connections available by clicking the connections menu item, or create a new connection or array. Array is a small application you can install on a computer behind your firewall that lets you securely talk to your ERP or accounting or any system and allow that system to securely talk back to Starfish in the cloud. Under Setup, we can view our account information, add team members so multiple people can log into the instance and work on the integrations and migrations, upload files for CSV import, as well as change our options. We have a Help section you can access, and on the right we have a User dropdown where you can see instances you have access to via that Teams functionality, a getting started guide, as well as logging out. Today I'm going to build a very simple integration from Sugar CRM to Sugar CRM. We are going to copy the type field from this field to this field, the new type field. Our source and destination can be the same, and that's what we're going to do today. Now notice that the drop-down values are the same for both of these drop-downs, which allows us to not have to do any data transformations, although we will be doing data transformations in the future. The first thing I'm going to do is create a new connection. I grab my Sugar CRM URL. We'll just call this Sugar Starfish Demo. Our connection type is going to be Sugar. I'm going to paste this here. Let's see, our username is admin and I can grab and paste in our password as well. I can test my connection. Test completed successfully. Go ahead and save that. And now I'm ready to add a new project to house my integration. We'll just call this my Sugar CRM integration. Once that project is completed, I can open it up and go ahead and add a new job with this plus sign up here. And we'll call this update account new type. Now I can open up my job. And first I need to set up my origin, so I click on my origin and choose Sugar CRM. I can test this. Must select a table first, so let's go ahead and choose accounts. It'll fetch all of the available tables for me. I can test this again and see that we have 95 records available. I can preview my origin to see what's available to me. For now, I just want to update one record for our demonstration. So I'm going to go ahead and put in our JSON filter. And if you take a look at our knowledge base, we have many examples of how to filter sugar as well as many other systems. So now again, if I test connection, I see one record.
And if I scroll all the way to the right where I know my custom fields are, I can see new type underscore C, which is blank, and I want to populate that. If I want to restrict the fields available, I can just type those in here. And now I'm just getting the fields I need for my integration or migration. I'm going to go ahead and click Destination, set up my destination here, go to Mappings, and I need to set up a stage to update the account. So I'll just call my stage Update Accounts. My options are Update, Insert, Delete, Update, Insert, or Skip, Insert. Again, for now, I just want to update my accounts. Again, here I can get a drop down of everything that's available to me. Once I've created my stage, I can expand it out to see all of the fields that are available to me. And I need to match on my ID field. I could choose options such as skip if blank or disable a field mapping if I'm doing debugging or something. And then I can scroll all the way to the bottom where I know it's going to have automatically found my custom fields, anything with an underscore C. I can click this drop down and see all of my source values. I can click on, I want to copy this new account type to new type. I can even see value samples over here. So once I click that, my map is complete. I can preview this to see what it will do without making any changes to my destination. I can see we have our ID field, new type is going to be passed into customer, and the action is going to be update. If I want to see the log of what it's doing, I can see that here. And finally, I can come and run this job. It says we've updated one record with our one origin. If I come over to our Pullman cart company, I see new type is blank until I refresh. And now we have customer populated here. Thank you for your time.